This is a gaming monitor. This is also a gaming monitor, but you know that already. But what you don't know is that these would be the very things that are hurting your game's performance. So today we're going to be answering, does having more monitors actually hurt your FPS? Welcome to Martian Tech, where we answer your tech questions and improve your overall tech life. Like and subscribe. All right, ever since I was a little baby PC nerd, I've always been obsessed with the crazy setups that streamers and professional gamers have. Like this, this, and even this. But when I first got into PC gaming, I only had a 60 hertz monitor and a dream. And at the time, I was happy for what I had. But fast forward to today, and now I have more monitors than I know what to do with. I was sitting down one day, looking at these soul monitors, and thought to myself, with all these monitors plugged into my 6700 XT graphics card, pulling power from them, and making them more demand for the GPU, is it actually lowering my FPS in my games? So I decided to test that. So here are the variables for the test. I'll be using a J-Link 240 hertz gaming monitor, in order to test all the games on. I'll first test the average FPS with three monitors, then I'll proceed to go to two and then one to see which one has the highest average frame rate. I'll be doing five minute play sessions and the game that I'll be testing is Fortnite. It's the only game I have downloaded at the moment that is popular and it's also a game I don't get super high frames on. All right, so now that's, that's out of the way, let's get into the testing. All righty, so we got Fortnite loaded up. And we're gonna go ahead and jump into a game. So right now we have our three monitors up right now to test to see if we get more frames on this setup. I'm gonna set a timer on my phone for five minutes. And once that goes off, I'm gonna stop the benchmark from MSI Afterburner and we're gonna see what we get. Alrighty, let's dive in. So I'm not gonna start the benchmark until we actually start landing from the battle bus because the frames you get from the loader screen do count towards the MSI benchmark test. And I don't wanna include any of those actually. But let's get into it. Timer starts now. All right, so here are the results for the three monitor setup. So this is what I usually play on. So I'm really accustomed to these sort of frames. And what I was getting from Fortnite was 186.1 frames per second average. We had a high of 230.9 FPS and a minimum frame rate of 93.2. This is what I usually get for this type of game around these settings I usually use. So I wasn't really too surprised to see anything different. We did manage to get a few kills too. I know I haven't played this game in a while, but did they change the camera angle? It looks a little closer now. But yeah, that is what I have from the first monitor test. But I'm not gonna lie. What I'm about to show you next is actually gonna shock you. That was test one. Now let's go into test two. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna unplug this monitor right here. Here, there we go. All right, so here's a two monitor test right here. So while playing with the two monitors, I actually saw a crazy increase. We went from 187.5 to 198.5 FPS on the average. We had a maximum of 232 FPS and a minimum of 97 FPS. This is actually pretty crazy because I didn't think that just taking off one monitor would make that big of an increase. And of course we got a couple kills here. I went to the same spots to make sure everything was consistent. I was actually pretty surprised. Also, I did notice something pretty cool. When I went back to my GPU to remove one of the cores, I felt that the cores are pretty hot. So I can see how this is using a lot of power to power these monitors. Especially the more powerful the monitor is, the more power it has to take from the GPU. Alrighty, so that was a test with only two monitors. And now we're gonna go to our final test with just one monitor. We're gonna do the same thing, just unplugging the HDMI or display port from the GPU and see what happens. Alrighty, let's do it. Going to our last test, the single monitor, and these results were mind blowing. We went from 198.5 average FPS to a 215.4 FPS on average. Yeah, crazy, right? We had a maximum of 271.4 FPS and a minimum of 98.6 FPS. This was a 14% FPS increase from three wow. monitors to one, which is insane to me. I've been missing out this whole time and getting all my frames. Of course, at this point, you know, it's 14%, yeah, that's quite a bit, but it's not game changing in a way that you're gonna be missing out. For me, for instance, I have a pretty good system, but for somebody who has a lower end system or a mid range system, this is pretty tremendous. You can see more particles, more frames, and even get kills that you weren't be getting before. So since I'm getting more frames with one monitor than I do with my three monitor setup, why do we as a society crave the biggest and baddest setups that include multiple monitors? As I was doing the test, I came to a realization of what could be causing this pandemic that I like to call setup imposter syndrome. And who can we blame this pandemic on? Social media. Every time I'm scrolling through TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, or even Reddit, I'm always getting exposed to the biggest and baddest setups by professional streamers and professional gamers. 
or even people who just custom build their setups and have more money than this other people. Seeing this, my brain thinks, oh, I have to have this. My setup is not good enough. I need more, I need more lights. I need more monitors, I need more peripherals. I just need more, 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 more. But whatever happens to the time when we were kids and we didn't even have monitors. We just had TVs, a console, and we had our friends to play with in the games that we loved the most at the time. I guess what I'm trying to say is, don't feel bad that your setup is not the biggest and baddest. You don't need all those monitors to game efficiently or even just be more cool, if you want to say that. You don't need the flashy lights, the mega artifacts, or even the standing desk. All you need is your single monitor, the favorite game you like to play, and your friends to play with. And that is the only accessories that you need. Thank you for watching, guys. It's been real. I love talking to you guys, and thank you for all the love and support. It's been Martian Tech. See you guys next time. And remember, it's always easy peasy. Peace.